Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're picking up our 2023 Holiday Rambler Vacationer Model 36F. So we finished up our RPDI, we went through the whole thing. There's a couple things that are gonna need some attention. And of course, no unit is perfect off the, off the line. I don't think any of them pass PDI perfectly, right? Right. But uh, it's all purely cosmetic, which is really great. Uh, so every system that needs to function, functions. And we're really excited. Uh, all, all these other systems we are we'll get them fixed under warranty. We're gonna make that video separately because I think it's a really good thing to know. We'll give you a quick overview of the outside, then the inside, and then we need to move our stuff from our Integra Steam over to our uh, new vacationer. Let's get started. We have our beautiful vacationer. Now, if you're thinking this kind of looks like a bounder a little bit, it's because it's the exact same thing as a bounder without the nostrils. Bigger smile, less nostrils i think it's really nice it does have fog lamps which are kind of a kind of an interesting feature i wasn't expecting it is on the ford f53 chassis with the 26 000, 30 000 pound weight rating it's really nice it's, uh, of course it's got the ford v8 we've got some big old alcoa rims while i love the gravity fill and showing this off uh we are missing some of the <laughs> we are missing the door and you can see yeah that uh, that little bit came off not a big deal very small things happen We've got our window here, we've got uh, power mirrors with heat, of course. And then up at the top, you may uh, you may not care about this, but there's a gutter and then a little bit of an extension out here. Up here we have the water gutters on either side, of course, and then little uh, redirects, little gutter extensions that are just gonna send the water just a little bit away from the motorhome, which is really nice. It's got a big, huge jumbo slide on this side with frameless windows. Uh, they are all dual pane windows, which is kind of a nice thing. And there's slide toppers, uh, which is really nice. It has an interesting mechanism for locking the slide in, which I can really appreciate. And all of the seals uh, look like they should be in a pretty decent shape, as you'd expect. We do have a QG5500 EFI generator by Cummins. That's great, but the thing I'm most excited about, I think, is right in this bay here, and that is that massive 100 gallons of fresh water. Really great, and even though they took a little, little bit of space in here, you still have plenty of storage in there, which I really appreciate. A lot of storage here. It's great, we have the bunks, so you see the, the smaller windows. This is kind of interesting, kind of a scene lighting sort of deal, which is great. More storage back here, and a spot for our stinky slinky, so we're gonna figure out where ours is going to go because no offense to this one but i just love our rhino hoses they do have tank heaters on this it is a 50 amp coach so that's something now and our gas fill is back here with a locking little locking bit which is really nice big beautiful fiberglass rear cap backup lights i like the leds up here and one thing i notice is uh how high this hitch is which is good for a departure angle but also our uh, our bikes are gonna be a little higher up Kind of funny now you see the half ladder it is a tpo roof and then of course we have the fan covers which is really kind of nice um so you actually have to attach the second half of the ladder not my favorite thing but not the end of the world we have uh two furnaces i believe which is just extra just so extra a lot of storage down here a hydraulic system more storage is passed through beautiful rims We've got an, a, a steel, a sheet steel bay here, which is great. Even more storage, and this door is wide. More storage here, which is just nuts. And they do have, uh, well, they have an outlet in here, and then they have uh, lights on the inside. There's a big old exterior TV with a sound bar uh, up here. That's a <laughs> something we're probably never going to use. We got a bigger propane tank. This guy is going to be. Uh, 24.2 gallons, so way bigger than our, I believe it's 16 gallons right now. Our inverter converter charger with the solar charge controller up here. So there is already one panel on the roof as I understand it. Disconnects, there's a battery control center and then somewhere back here is going to be our batteries. So we'll have to fish those out. A little bit of learning to do with these units still, but not a big deal. We have our on-demand hot water system. And instead of having one step that comes down, and you can see how they kind of retract up, which is great. And then we have five steps up. One, two, three, four, five. If we take a quick look around, look how bright and open it is. This is before all of our stuff, of course. So we got our bedroom all the way in here. So let's get started at the front. All right, well, and here we are at the front. And I think I've already mentioned this with the bounders. 
but the visibility is not that great. So we are gonna be leaning forward a little bit more, uh, but it's not as bad as you might expect either. How does it feel over here? These these chairs are great. It's gr It feels comfortable, it's really comfortable. I have my own cup holder, I have my own switchies for my lights and my fans. Um, I do have an outlet also down here by my feet. Clearly this is one of the things that needed to be fixed. The top of this is a little bit loose, so I think they just re-glued it. Um, so it's nice and sturdy for us. And then here's that water door that we were missing from outside. <laughs> They're gonna work on that for us too. But lots of space. Lots of visibility out the front. You really feel like you're sitting up high up here. It, it, we really do feel up high. We're like more, and if you can kind of see, compared to the esteem, this unit is much, much taller, but compared to the esteem, like it feels like, like we're standing in the esteem is where we're sitting here. Yeah. Which is really nice. Yeah, we do have a lot of headroom here. Visibility is really good. Um, I'm sitting a little bit lower here, but I think I can adjust that. I actually have power seats here, uh, which is really cool. Big old dash. I need to get a little cover for uh, some of these screws here. Uh, some of this was a, a little loose, but the plastic's nice enough. It's pretty solid. We have our Sony dash system. You probably have seen that. AC controls, cup holders galore. There's a little storage back here. Now, this is interesting because I would have thought that this was a switch to have the speakers inside or out, uh, but we don't have outdoor speakers. We have a sound bar outside. So this is actually whichever one of your batteries you want to use, your house batteries or your truck batteries. Uh, generator easy enough you have uh, your utility light which is our side light there map lights which is this guy up here fog lamps which is kind of a nice thing to have of course you got the forward dash four ways traction control air conditioning vent second monitor this is a really nice thing and you can change everything about this whether you're saying one two or three uh, i really like that we've got the shade up and down and interestingly if the ignition is on, the shade will only go to about halfway, as you can see. So you can still drive like this, which um, <laughs> I think will come in handy. Doesn't yeah. let you go too far down, which is really nice. And then we have an auxiliary start, fan high and low up here. And then this is where it gets real interesting. So we have our mirror control up here. We have our cup holders right here, but so we have like six cup holders, five, five cup holders up here, it's nuts. Okay. We got the uh, Lippert LCI electronic leveling. That's what we're already familiar with, but when this is all leveled, it actually beeps at us, which is kind of a nice thing. And we have the Liquid Springs system. It's supposed to be the bee's knees, as Emma put it earlier. <laughs> uh, and it better be, because this thing is expensive. We got a better deal. Do not pay MSRP, guys. But, but we're gonna find out how it does. I, uh, I think we should probably record our first drive. I think that'd be great. Hmm. We'll see. I'll let Emma walk you through a little bit more of the coach and I'll fill in the things that I get really excited about. But what do you like about it? What do you hate about it? I love the pantry right here. This is not something we've had as a dedicated pantry. So this is a really nice use of space uh, for us. And then we do have the drop down bed above Joel's head, which will come in handy, I'm sure, at some point. Especially with your, uh, your tall sister. Yeah, we'll get my sister coming. <laughs> The dinette, we've already tried dropping it down. I'm not gonna do it right now, but it's so, so easy. The thing that's interesting about this dinette is you just, you drop that down, you pull this lever, and it's actually, one, it's very comfortable, but two, it's really easy to use. So you don't have to fumble with, with anything. And there's storage underneath, which is really nice. Uh, I will say, I think some of the finishing on the cabinetry could be better, but, eh, yeah. Yeah, it's not, not bad at all, not bad at all. Look at that beautiful backsplash first. Yeah, Holy that is. Cow. The whole kitchen is just very pretty. Like it's very clean. It's very pretty. Very bright. Um, yeah, All very fossil. Bright. I think it's called fossil, right? Yeah, fossil. The fossil interior with the Genesis back backsplash and all that. And one thing I love that Hol Holiday Rambler does is they line all of the cabinets and all the shelves with like a carpeted material so that nothing's sliding around. Absolutely. And they do that all the way through the whole coach. These are these have some heft to them, so I don't know that we'll be bringing these around with us, but really nice cooktop. Same, yeah, cooktop. We don't have an oven, but we do have the convection microwave, um, and it gives us extra storage underneath, which is fantastic. A lot of lot of a uh, lot of storage, a lot of cabinetry, but this guy definitely will replace an, an oven for us, or an air fryer, basically. Yeah, it's like it's a convection. And the uh, the built-in rain covers 
with automatic controls and you can control everything in this coach everything electronic right from this panel we're going to touch on this uh because we can also control it right from our phones which emma's already set up and did her own voodoo <laughs> yeah well and it was really nice to be able to put the slides out using my phone because i could actually go stand back there and watch the slide go out so i knew when to stop yeah which was nice or you can step outside and yeah look this at this is, freaking fridge this is a big upgrade for us this is an electric residential fridge yep. um much much more insulation on these doors and Joel will be really happy there is a built-in ice maker. I do like ice. <laughs> really nice. It's uh, Samsung. It's going to have, what, a 10-year warranty, something like that. These seats. They are so comfortable. Oh, they are. They are fantastic. There's actually three bits of storage, just like this. One here. One of these armrests. And then one on, yeah. They also have electronic uh, kickouts with USB here and little ring lights, which I couldn't care less about, but I whatever. Think, but look how far you can recline. That's, uh, yeah, you're not going to be able to, like, do this with a slide in, but you can at least use them with the, you know, the kick, the kick down yeah. and the slide in, which is really nice. But the reason you can't use it with the slide in is because look at that freaking, you have a fireplace here. We'll, we'll light it up. We'll do all of these systems later. Uh, that actually does produce heat from electricity, and then it has a nice little light show. That decent sound bar and TV. Mm -hmm. Guys, we have freaking five TVs in here. And so much storage. It's, like It's kind of stupid. We, I don't know, we have, we're gonna have so many empty cabinets. Yes, yeah, a little, little bit of storage up here. Uh, two air conditioners, it's a 50 amp coach. One thing that's really cool about this rig in particular is it has two full bathrooms. <laughs> this is ridiculous. So this is the first one with oh. a shower. It's a smaller shower, but it is a nice shower. All seamless, yep. No shower miser though, I, would, I do wish we had that. Yep, and there is a, these are both macerator toilets which we've not had before. So that'll be new, yeah. That'll be new for us. Great fans, good fans in here, really really good fans in and here. And lined cabinetry again, just really nice. Lots, like I said, lots of storage. You can't storage. really party in this bathroom. You can't really party in this bathroom. And if we're, if we're feeling this, uh, uh, the, the cabinetry is just, it's just all solid. This is that material that I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of, but, um, it does, I do like the fact that it's all painted, which does theoretically seal it a lot better. We have our Plex uh, fuses and all that good stuff. Look at this TV that is just unnecessary. A little more storage in here. You can hook an Xbox up. Uh, we have our, our breakers uh, for our 110 system. And this TV that is not necessary to the adults in this rig. If there were kids in this rig, it would be nice for them. Or maybe we put animal plant on for the dogs, who knows? Absolutely. Look at the, uh, so still dual pane windows, but uh, the curtains in here is kind of nice. It's kind of a nice deal. Um, you can actually, you, you can flip this guy up. And then this will be nice for the dogs to have their space. Yeah, we're going to have to figure that one out. So <laughs> it's four drawers underneath, which are actually pretty decent. Uh, the magnets on these doors are pretty legit. I don't know if we're going to keep these doors on, but uh, they're pretty solid. There's a lot of these little touch interface deals where we can just come in here and go all lights off, all lights on. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of nice sliding door. That's uh, not something we'd use very frequently Look at this bedroom guys But even with the door shut there's a lot of light in here like it's very bright and it's very like Yeah inviting. Big windows on the slides. It's a little bit deeper of a slide, but it does completely It's very usable with the both slides in because we have two opposing slides here uh, That's the most important thing for us and look at the balances. I think they look pretty nice I wish there were all of this material, but it does break up. I think it looks, I think it looks pretty, pretty solid. And you have plugs and USBs on both sides of the bed. Yep, and a generator nice. control, yeah. Lots of storage, more closet drawers. Mm -hmm. They give you a nice like shoe rack in the closet, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. And the, look at this massive drawer. I mean, this is where we put blankets. There is a little bit of carpet down here. I like that it's darker carpeted because if you have to have it, you know, why not? Um, but more important is, look at this two-tone, isn't that just, isn't that classy? Isn't that nice? Pocket door in here with a one-piece fiberglass shower and a skylight. Important. And these are the uh, kind of the glazed uh, material uh, textured. Uh, I like that more because it's just not going to look as dingy over time. Towel bar. Nice. Yeah, nice drawers. Now this has washer dryer prep, which is kind of cool. And the nice thing about these being adjustable or removable shelves is we can take those out and throw a laundry basket there. Yep. And. We have a little more storage under here. I like again. I like that they line everything. There's an outlet, and they give you a TP holder, which is important. <laughs> you wouldn't think it would be that important, but it is. Back here, you have again more space, and they give you nice drawers so you can access it all easily for whatever you're putting in there. Yep. Yep. Another fan, very important. 
Got a little bit more storage in here. Absolutely. And I like the window here. This is a nice window. It's, weird. it's, it's the small things, right? Yep. All right, now it's time for us to move in. We have been working for about four hours here, getting our crap out and uh, finding places for things and reorganizing and nothing's organized. It's gonna be a big mess to get everything sorted in the RV, but we'll figure it out. But we uh, we have two more things before we end this video. One, we have to say goodbye to this, that's Dean. How do you, uh, how are you feeling? I think this is the first RV I haven't been that sentimental about leaving. No, the other our ones stamp, I felt a little sad. A little bit of, with the Airstream, our Scamp definitely. So that was a great rig. Yeah. Um, and just a quick walk through. This is kind of what she looks like on the way out. Slides in, of course. Great windows. All clean. Well, not clean, but all empty. The shower. It's a lot dirtier than I thought it was once all of our stuff was coming out. Yeah. <laughs> but that, I mean, that's that's kind of how it is. We've been down here in the desert for a while. So, yeah. one last thing, and that is we have a new logo. And unfortunately, I've gotten the shirt all sorts of dirty. But as you can see, Brian was actually kind enough to take the logo that Emma had made a while back and put it on a shirt. I think it looks pretty good. Emma, <laughs> he even got a, he even got Emma one. <laughs> so we officially match our new vacationer. Yeah, we gotta get the dogs over to the new RV. If we're we don't leave in the next 15 minutes, uh, we'll, we're, log we're locked in until Monday. So. so yeah, we gotta get out of here. Yep. Thanks for watching guys. In the next video, we'll go for our very first ride in here. We'll go for a POV. We'll see how, how she rides. Nothing's put away, so do not judge us. <laughs> see you in the next video, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.